We are at the Dunleavy Millbank Center in Harlem for the official Air Jordan 34 unveiling. That's right. We got Baby Dunk USA in the background. They're about to let these kids go at it, put on a show. Today we're gonna try to provide you with all the information about this new performance basketball shoe and also catch with some highlights throughout the day. So without further ado, let's get right into it. all the way to what's current on our feet now and what's been given away. Okay. Then with special guest Zion. Yes, Mr. You guys will have a warm up. You know, we got a great day involved. And after that, three on three. So from JDI to Jordan Brand, you better get it in. All right. I'm gonna go change and then we're gonna put these shoes to the test. impressions very very light feel a little bouncy I might throw one down today no promises
pretty sure we got done with all the drills. The last drill was a competition. The other team decided to pick their own team. Big mistake. I don't know what they was thinking. <clears throat> Blow out as, as you'd expect. I said just know we keep the guns with us, you know? Alright, I'm here with Trent, Tate, and Chad. Some of the geniuses behind this new model right here, the Air Jordan 34. I guess I'll start with, with Tate. Um, can you actually rebuild the shoe for me right now? I don't know if you have all the parts. I don't have all the parts, but you can see some of the parts here. Um, I think the biggest thing with the 34, as you'll see, is the Eclipse plate. And that's really the biggest feature that you'll see, the newest technology that we have. It's really taking the, the, the flight speed plate from the top and turning it to the side in two parts. And this allows you to really cradle the zoom bag. Um, and this all com comes together. With, with the midsole and then you're allowed to really see through it and let and this is the first time you get to see the zoom bag because you really don't get to see the that technology often so that's what we really want to unlock the zoom as much as possible and then I guess this uh, the outsole this, oh. this little piece yes and then a zoom bag we have a little heel you can put that on top. Yes. Yeah, and then that. Got it. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. It is like sure. a puzzle. And at the beginning, this was actually exposed zoom bag. Yeah. But we didn't love how it didn't look very clean with the zoom showing through. So it was actually Tate's idea to pull in this material to do something a little bit different in the outsole. And then you get that. And then call out the zoom, yep. What about the upper? You could do the upper. Yeah, mm -hmm. this this is so we got we had, we had a couple of design uh, options that we got back and this was one of them and we had I think it was one other this, one. This is like the very first type yeah. we built. And then when we saw this, we knew right away that this this was it. Like we knew we wanted to go down this path. And the idea behind this is how do you take everything away that you don't need and only give you uh, give the athlete what they need in the upper. And that's uh, translucent materials. This is a woven underneath that provides the stability in the forefoot. The heel counter that shows through, which I, we thought was really cool and different. And then just adding in the little details that we talked through. Um, when it comes back to the Jordan 4, it's not necessarily inspired by the Jordan 4, but you'll see nods to the Jordan 4 and the dates, the flight logos and things of that nature. Are those all the Easter eggs? Or are there some uh, more that we need to discover ourselves? Yeah, there's, the, yeah, each one of these tells a story around the color with a black light, this would actually glow and shine through, but there are a few other ones. This is 2-3 in Morse code. So there's a few other Easter eggs that we like to hide in there. And of course, J4 to 34, 289, the launch of the AJ4 to 2019, the launch of the 34. Nice. Yep. This is really giving me a zoom fly vibes. Yep, yep. And then even when you start to put the pod in there, you kind of get that almost a 90s vibe to it as well from back in the day. Mm. Our mission is to take back the courts, and we feel like listening to the athlete, um, this shoe really represents us um, getting back to great traction, super lightweight, and a great fit for all athletes. Can you actually break down uh, some, some of these inspirations here on the table? Some of these uh, cartoon drawings? Yeah. Um, yeah, as a designer and as a team, we're always looking at inspiration, whether it be like a race car or, or nature. Um, some of this stuff. We're Where is that particular? Uh, specifically, I have no idea. But we're looking at like reduce reduction, like carving away, and that's that, excavation. Excavation, like that's really what we wanted to do. And if you, this was like the initial blue sky thinking. I mean, this is like way out there. You can see how much we carved away. Um, this this came from innovation, the innovation team, and just how you can see through it. We landed pretty close, even though we didn't get this much. Um, this, sometimes this is where you start. Like you really want to push it. Um, so always looking at inspiration, and then of course like we spend months just sketching and, and trying different different ideas on paper, <clears throat> and then then we start building it, and that that was like the first sample that that we talked about. So a lot of different. It's about 18 months from start to finish. This is a rubble race car. Yeah. Uh, it's a driverless vehicle. That, um, Basically, the same thing as Tate's saying, it excavates, takes weight out, but it makes it more aerodynamic, yeah. um, faster, lighter. We also love that race car because it was really low to the ground. We tried to keep this shoe as low to the ground as possible. That's something that Michael actually tasked us to do is don't get too high off the ground. So this is that was something we, we uh, use as inspiration. Clearly, Zion is the face of this shoe right here. When did he actually get to test out the shoes? Because I know he kind of recently just signed with the brand. We're very, very excited. I think we, we were all extremely excited about this shoe before even 
hearing the amazing news that Zion's with us now that he's been with us. Um, he's been in the shoe for a couple months now. Um, so just familiarizing himself with it and testing it out and getting it ready. So yeah, he likes it. Yeah, he loves it. We have uh, we have uh, Tom Ray as our athletes craftsman that works with all of our athletes. And what he does is that when we have a new shoe like this, he works with the athlete to find out what they want. That he'll go out and he'll build. Uh, probably four or five iterations of the shoe that he think will work. We'll go out and talk to Zion and get his feedback. He'll try all those iterations, then pick one of those and decide what he wants to tweak and what he doesn't want to tweak. But we take inspiration and feedback from all of our athletes that, that wear a test of model. Zion might be the face of it, but Tatum has worn it. Um, Rui, Conley, Kemba, they've all tried the shoe out and we take feedback from all those guys. There you guys have it, the complete breakdown of the new performance basketball shoe by Jordan Brand, the Air Jordan 34s. I'm gonna get in there, try to play a quick game of threes, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm out of here, peace.